There are two ways to do pressure relief devices calculations for supercritical fluids. One of them is using the API 521 standard equation, and another one is using the rigorous mode. Let's start with the API 521 calculations. You find the calculations for pressure relief devices for supercritical fluids in the session heat absorption equations for vessel containing only gases, vapor, or supercritical fluids. There are some equations here. It starts with the equation 9, but to solve the equation 9, you need to have the area exposed to fire, so it's a function of the geometry of your vessel. You need to have the set point of your case, and the set point considers the allowable overpressure of your system. So when we are talking about fire case, we have an allowance of 21%, and it depends on the F dash. But the F dash goes to another equation where we need to calculate the C, the KD. KD is a function of your pressure relief device, and we have also the C9 that is a constant. And you need to define what is the temperature, allowable temperature for the wall of your vessel and the release temperature. And here we have the first issue because to define the temperature release or the temperature at the upstream relief pressure, we need to use the calculation or the equation 12 that uses the relation of the ideal gas. So if I have a liquid at my normal operate conditions, I am not able to just get the normal operate conditions of a liquid and add this to this equation because this equation is for ideal gases. So I need to find a way to convert or to do an estimation of my temperature release before I I am able to apply this equation. And we'll see with the example how to do that. Moreover, to find the value of K, that is Cp divided by Cv, I need to consider it at the pressure relief setting or at the set point of my pressure relief device and also the temperature of release. That depends on this equation. So the procedure for starting the calculations for the pressure relief device, the calculation of the orifice of your pressure relief device is first solve equation 12. After that, solve equation 11. With equation 11, solve equation 10. And with equation 10, solve the equation 9. With this, you will find the orifice, orifice area of your pressure relief device. Once you find that, you are able to calculate the required load for your pressure relief device. And that will depend on the F dash calculation. If it is above a, cer a certain value, you will use this equation here, 13, or if it is below certain value, it will, you will use the equation 14.